You can. They're fine. They're a mess. But. <laughs> hey, at least they know we're working. Oh, definitely working. I don't have a lot of space on my table. Do you have your pixie spray? Yeah. Millie will be putting dog bones on the screen if she was here. Yes. Let's see who jumps on in to hang out with us first. Hello, hello. Let's see who it is. Oh, people are coming in. Make sure you comment when you come on so we know you're here. <clears throat> you know, we can see comments. More so we can see if Facebook is working. Right. <laughs> so we can see if anything, if it's working. It is Milligan. Hi, Hi we Michelle. You. We were just talking about you. We have our cute little fairy from last night. I'm sorry I don't have a lot of space on my desk or working. We have four people here now. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Sheila. Hi, Sheila. She's winking at you. See her little avatar? I know. It's so cute. Okay, so tonight... Oh, listen on the way home. Awesome. So, I chose... I'm going to choose to make... a larger card and I don't usually do that so hi Tammy so I decided to make a six by six card because we kind of need some for our displays <laughs> I think this is the first six by six I've ever seen you make it might be the first one I've ever made hi Jax, hi, Jax. <laughs> so I chose this paper because I for thought sure. it matched really good with her uh, we're both feeling a slightly under the weather, but we're doing okay. I think, Cheryl, that mine is allergies. I think we've narrowed it down to mine is super bad allergies. And I don't even want to talk about mine. Yeah. I didn't cut the paper right. You did. Are you sure that's the right paper? Mm-hmm. Okay. Michelle! You hear my bestie? Yep, she's here. Oh, yeah, because I wanted to cut it at five hours. No wonder. Yep. I sure did. Showed up, showed up. It's been a, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a day. So, the card stock is <clears throat> six by six. And the paper that goes inside is five and a half by five and a half. I'm going to go ahead and start off with that so a few more people can jump on. But other than that, we're doing good. How's everybody else doing tonight? Did you guys see Joy's live today? If you missed it, you should check out the replay. It's super, super cute. And be patient. They were having storms while she was doing her live, so there's some technical difficulties. Yeah, just a little bit. We had it too, but we hung out. Just like you guys hang out for me when I have technical difficulty. So, just starting off with the base card. I like to have white on the inside. I don't know why, I just do. While I'm at it, I think I'm going to stamp the back before I put anything on the front. Get the basics done first. Oh, yeah, ready for the Irving show. Look, everybody's going to sign in and go, oh, my gosh, she's done. I'm not. I signed it first this time. That the way. Mama's here. The, yay. I that way I wouldn't put the stuff on the wrong side of the card so it'll open correctly. Okay. So that's the, the base for the card. And this is the fairy that we colored last night. She's super cute. She has her little earring in. And then I bought, I, I bought, 
I cut the tan for a border, so we'll just put that there. And then this is sweet sentiment paper. And I thought what we would do tonight is use the new release stencil as a background. But we're going to, um, actually, we're actually going to use oxides tonight. I know that you guys haven't seen me use oxides in a while. We've been doing some, some coloring with our stencils. But tonight, we're going to do a little bit of, um, I put some pixie spray on it. We're going to actually use our oxides tonight. So hopefully I don't mess this up. I haven't used any oxides in a while. Okay. And I have hair already. I hate that. Okay. Oh. Clearly I need to clean my stamps. They traveled to Arizona, so they got um, my son's puppy hair on them. Use your espresso again. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can really see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, that just gave me more fuzzies. I flip it over because sometimes a pixie spray will make the... There's another hair on there. Look at that. What is up with that tonight? It's because you took your espresso to see puppies. I did. I sure did. And my stencils and everything. Because you guys remember I did my lives from Arizona. <laughs> oh, here comes Jamie. She'll come over here and show you hers too. Oh, I have marker on my thumb. We went and got them done today. I got my hair done purple again too. So we did a little bit of running around. And Michelle says, any sneak peeks in the show make and take? Yeah, we just pushed some post-it notes out of the way. Yeah, That's here. your sneak peek. <laughs> I have a huge stack of post-it notes on my desk. All right. I think that'll be good enough for me. <clears throat> New color. Yep, of course mine is purple. I brought special purple for her, though. She did. So, Jamie picked our oxides tonight. She decided that we would use forest moss, mowed lawn, and twisted citron, and uncharted mariner, mariner peacock feathers, and salvaged patina. Those are the six we're going to use. I was mimicking or trying to mimic the colors in the flower that you colored with the fairy. Nice. I don't know that I would need six, but we'll roll with it. We're going to put them all on here just because Jamie gave them all to us. All right. So, a <laughs> teaser. It was a teaser, wasn't it? Okay, so there's my um, blue brushes and here are my green brushes and they look like they have been through the laundry right here. No, if they went through the laundry they'd be clean. Not if they're in the dirty laundry. Okay, I'm going to start with um, this moss color. This be careful. forest moss. Don't use a whole lot because it's dark. Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. There you go. How's that? Pretty. How's that for some craziness? Should we do it in like, like green and then go into blue? Or should we do yeah. it in a circle? Yeah. Jamie says, yeah, green into... I thought you'd start with the dark green and go dark, medium, light, and then at the bottom start with the blue and go dark, medium, light. Yep, and mix the two light colors together. Yep. That is exactly what I was thinking. Sweet. That's why we're besties. Great minds think alike. You got it. Okay, 
So there's the moss. <coughs> Hi, Joyce. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ooh, we need some more. Because we might as well go half and half, right? I kind of like it when it has different uh, tones, like light and dark. Yeah. Okay. So that is the darkest one. You sound not so good tonight. You need to go make it a lot to rest, rest that body. Yep. She is yep. going to go to bed early. She's all wrapped up in a blanket right now. We were watching a movie, and I turned it off for the live. <laughs> and it's like right at the climax of the movie. I know. She totally, <coughs> totally did me dirty on that one. I did. I'm sorry. But it, that's because we paused it for for berry calls and um <coughs> so we i timed it out for it to end before the live but um but, but then, then the husband berry called and, and we had computer difficulties kind of so. messed that up so because trying to talk a man through working the computer now i'm going back to my forest moss but i'm not putting any more color i'm just coming in to kind of smooth out that transition right there so it's real real smooth that's kind of how i want it to be <laughs> we will cheryl yes i'm actually not super duper tired yet so because i slept late this morning Twisted Citron is next. I pulled that because it's your favorite one. It is my favorite one. Well, your second favorite one. Villainous Potion is your favorite one. True that. True that. Is it weird that I know that? No, not at all. I mean, you did bring purple nail stuff for me. That's true. So, nope. Nope. That's nope. A, nope. That's the name of the movie that we're watching. It's nope. ridiculous, you guys. It is an absolutely ridiculous movie. I know, but it's funny. It is. It's, it's got great. some humor in it. It's great cinematography, I'm going to tell you. There we go. So that's See, a those, pretty good blend. Those look cool together. Yeah, huh? they do. Good job. It looks just like the stem of your flower. It does. Want to see? Oh, I did some good job Perfect. matching that. Very nice. Now we're going to do the other end with the blues. This one's not going to be such a good match. You don't think? No. Well, He doesn't have that, like, turquoise. Flowers will be far away from it, yeah. so it won't matter. He doesn't have that, like, turquoise, that BG-70 that you used. Hi, Jim and Diana. This one is... Thanks, Michelle. Uncharted Mariner. Go easy on this one, too, until you get used to it. Ooh, those posty notes. Do you think they're gonna make it through the whole <laughs> this, uh, through the whole um, oxides, or do you think they're gonna fall on my desk, on me? I it is quite oh, the mountain of posty notes. A little bit of harsh right there, so I gotta rub just a little bit more, kind of get that that sort of worked out. I'm okay with overlapping a little. Yeah. That's what makes all the new colors make it pretty. I know. So then whenever I, I do the go back and mix a little bit, I usually use the um whatever was left on the on the brush still. On the brush instead of <clears throat> adding any more of the green. It's a nice blue. I really like this blue. It's one of my favorites. I like the Uncharted Mariner because it's a little bit turquoisey, but not in the green family, if that makes sense. And this one is Peacock Feathers. Here we go. With our Peacock Feathers. We went through some of our stuff we brought and started organizing and preparing make and takes and things like that for the show tonight. Oh, 
Oh, talk about um, craft roulette again. Oh, I actually added craft roulette to my um, link tree. To my link tree on my Instagram, in in case you guys needed to find it. But it's our um, so what it is craft roulette. So Sandy's gonna be a host on the 31st. Yes, so you watch the live on YouTube or you can watch the replay. This is Savage Patin Patina, and then you play along. <laughs> It's salvage, not savage. Whatever. I, I can't I never can say the names of these. I don't know why he made them so complicated. <laughs> it just cracked me up because you're like savage and I'm like, wow, that's some bad. And I always patina. call it pickled raspberry, so it's not you know <laughs> pickled raspberry. I mean, that's awesome. It just I just am not very good with the names I'm of these. I'm gonna forever call it pickled raspberry. Yeah, they the, a couple of people laughed at me when they first heard that too. So anyway, they give you some parameters. They leave them very vague and open so you can um, do your own interpretation of those. So it's pretty fun because there's such a wide variety of cards that they get. But you create a card with them while they're, while they're doing the live and then, um, or after, shortly after. And then you submit it. And they do some drawings and whoever's sponsoring it will... Um, they do giveaways and such. You and just we, submit it digitally. You don't have to mail it in. Yeah, you don't have to mail it in. And we are the sponsors this month. So whoever submits gets their name in a drawing. And then um, look at the shift of light on the way that's turning the light in the video. Yeah. It's so weird. It is. Um, so anyway... Um, I'm going to be doing the at my actual card with the parameters that get spun the on the 31st live. So I want you guys to join me so you guys can uh, give me that inspiration you give me every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. Are you guys ready to see what this looks like? Should we squirt it with water or should we just leave it? Oh, I would totally squirt it. Okay, let's squirt. Okay, so this is just my distress sprayer with water in it. And I'm going to give it a little bit of spritz and then I'm going to come back and try to put some little bit darker spots in there. So, <clears throat> I want to give Sandy bragging rights because on the 31st is when she's live and it's at 6.30 central time. And a couple of weeks ago, Gina K was on, and she got like 290 cards or something like that. Yeah. And I want Sweet Sentiment to like blow that out of the water, all the sweeties. Um, and I want to have like so many cards submitted while Sandy's on, um, so people see how amazing all of our Sweet Sentiment people are, and want to be a big part of Sweet Sentiment. So you guys can help us out, right? Come watch and make cards and enter. It's so fun. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that awesome? I love that. I love it, too. Are we ready for the reveal? This is Jamie's favorite part. My favorite part. Anyway, I'm super excited because it's the first time I, I get to represent Sweet Sentiment out and out. Well, besides show, um, um expos. you only get to enter one card per week. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Oh, that's amazing! Isn't it beautiful? That came out so good. That's so cool. Look at how different that looks than when you color them. I have a few here. I did this one. I colored it with Copics. You guys know I love doing this. And this one. That one looks like a coffee card to me. It, it makes, makes me think coffee. of um, cherry on top. Black Forest cake. <laughs> I know, and I don't even like Black Forest cake. I'm Isn't surprised because it has cherries. I know. 
But it also <coughs> has like coconut, doesn't it? No. There's something about it I don't like. I'm just not sure what it is. Jax loves this so much. Linda says, Yay! hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. And I have a few more I haven't colored, but here's some more ideas you can do. This one, I just used the center of the stencil and just put it all over the card. And then I'm going to color it with Copic. So this, this one stencil can make a ton of different designs patterns. and patterns and, yeah, super fun. But I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to do this whole background with um, with our fairy? Because our fairy is so big. I love having big old images to color. I know, me too. This card is actually going to come together way faster than I thought. But look at those colors you picked look really <clears throat> good with that tan color, too. Yeah. You can always do them like this, cut them down if you want to make a smaller card. I actually have two different sentiments here already cut out, so we're good with that. I like leaving the outside um, white, too. I think that's super that, cool. Zoom out just a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Uh-oh. Posty notes. Posty notes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put... Hey, look at my glue is, like, having a little burp here. I was teasing Joy about her um, generous amount of glue that she uses. <laughs> Less is more. <laughs> oh, Joy, we love you. We do. That we was do, the cutest thing. All right, look at that. I didn't even have to stand up. Stand up. Now I'm going to flip it over and rub it with the espresso so I can get all the stuff. What is up with my glue? Look, it's blowing bubbles. Did you take it to Arizona? I did. Have you opened it since Arizona? I have. Hmm. And I don't know. This is super cool. I really, really like it. Okay. More glue. More glue, more glue. I keep going right off the card base. This would have worked for the parameters last week. Blue plus two. Blue plus two. And so the blues plus the um, green and pink. I'd show you my last one, but I did it. We did them in Lena's craft room oh, and yeah, we, left we left them, them there. We did. And then it was rounded corners. And so see the stencil so has the rounded. Here. Well, I was looking at the stencil outside is rounded. That too. Yep. Fussy cut, which you fussy cut the sentiments and the, oh, you die cut the girl. I die so cut the girl, cut so that the didn't count, but the parameters change every time, so it's always a different card, which is super fun, and it's just a fun <coughs> evening to hang out and make something, and we talk, and you can ask questions, and it's super fun. Striking. Oh man, that's awesome. She needs bling though. She does need bling. I don't want to put her on there just yet. It still feels a little damp. So in honor <coughs> of this beautiful spring weather, I would like to invite you over to complain about allergies, reminisce about spring break trips, and help me clean. Sometimes you just have to write your own damn fairy tale. I like that one. Up there like that? Yeah. Then we gotta move her down just a little bit. I was gonna say either that or at the bottom right corner. I think I like it at I the top. I think I like it right there. Yep, I think I do too. Yeah, you could put her on a wobble. Gosh, this is so pretty. I don't want to put her on a wobble, but I do want to pop her up. So okay. it's gonna take some sweet pops, sweet pops, and it's gonna take a little bit of time. But you guys don't mind. Does anybody have any questions? about the craft roulette we've been talking about? I've done it uh, six times, and so has Jamie. And I've had such a great time every time I did them. Even the ones that I'm like, oh my gosh, how in the heck am I going to do that? Yeah, one time it was like hinge, and I was like, what? It was like beach colors and robot and... 
I had to a draw bear. a robot because we didn't have one. And a map fold. And I was like, what am I even going to do? But we both did it. We both did that one. And it was fun. You can make your own interpretation of what they say. So, And you can go back and watch different uh, previous episodes if you want to see what it's like before you jump in. I mean, it's free, so... You can join the Facebook group. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. You can join the Facebook group and kind of check out what cards people are making for the previous episodes or the current. I have no idea what the parameters will be when I'm on there. Because they spin live. They spin them and choose them live. And I'm okay with that because, you know, uh, that's what makes it fun. Then you get a couple of minutes to pull stuff out of your craft room to come up with a card or a project or whatever the parameter is. Um, there are a few that I'm hoping don't pop up on mine because I don't think I could do them. She doesn't want florals. But, I mean, I would take florals, but I don't want it to be make. I don't want I don't really want it to be mixed media because I'm scared of that. But I just did mixed media with this, so I can make it work. I was going to say, you're doing mixed media right now. But I'll feel so much better if you guys are on there cheering me on. We'll make Our it, sweeties will show up. It'll, it'll make it easier for me. Do you have my scissors over there that cut tape? I do. Thank you. <clears throat> you're welcome. It's pretty cool when your bestie's in the room with you. Just ask her questions and... It's Can fun. you fill me in about the pink jar of your pop-ups? Oh, yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, these are sweet pops. We sell them in the shop. We generally sell them in a roll. I think I might have one right here I can oh, show you. I was headed out to the living room to yep. get a roll. We, we sell, they come in a roll like this. In a um, plastic bag. What would you do if you say you are putting one in and then you pull out of it? What does that mean? Oh, you don't have to. I can't hear anyone now. What? Go out. Out and come back in. Anyway, these are sweet pops. They come in this, uh, in a package. And I unroll them and then cut them apart and I put them all in my jar so when I need them I don't have to pull the big roll and hope it doesn't come unwound and I just cut them all up and stick them in a little jar I got from uh, I just got this from Target in the dollar in the front dollar section did you catch that let me know if you if you can hear me if you heard what I said. Try going out and coming back in. Nice. So I like I like these sweet pops because they're big and you can cut them apart to whatever size you need. So you never have to worry about, oh, I don't have one big enough or small enough, or you know, you can just use you can just cut up the ones that you have to fit where you want them to. Yeah, Jackie, I love cutting them up and huh, Cheryl says you're back now. Yay. I love cutting them up and using them. Like, if I have one of the bigger ones and I need to cut just a little piece off of it, um, I have a separate little, one of the honey bowls that we sell to put in, there you go, to put the little scraps in so I can save the little scraps. Honey bowl. This is a honey bowl. We sell these in the shop, and this is where Jamie puts her <clears throat> smaller ones. So that in she one cut of them, up. I have springs and cut up sweet pops, and um, fantastic fasteners, like all my little adhesive things, and then I set <laughs> my glue in it. <laughs> Look at that! I can bring them up just when yep. you say them, and then you set the glue in the other one so they can see. And it fits in there perfect. So I have all my adhesives in one. And yeah. then I have bling in another one. And I have my bling in this one. I'd show you my other one, but I also have like jewelry and all kinds of uh, 
stuff in there. <laughs> rocks and jewelry and pebbles and this is the one I have just some bling in. Yeah. Yes, they are on the website. Let me and, they the come, and they come in different colors, so you can choose what color uh, you'd like. Which is awesome. I use the lid to catch the scraps and then throw them away. Yep. And then I have them all on the back. And I just peel them off. They come off very easy. They're not difficult to peel. Although I did put a whole bunch on the back of here. You can put as many or as little as you want. I like a lot. I do too. I don't like to um, set it down and then it sinks in because you're missing a sweet pop there. So I usually get them in there pretty good. <laughs> plus, Hello, Milligan. <laughs> plus they're inexpensive, so I can get a lot, and I can always get more, so I don't mind using them. One of the things in my craft room I don't hoard. I am more than happy to use Sweet Pops all over the place. I don't mind. <coughs> oh, my goodness. The picture okay. of per perfect health over here. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and put her on there. We sell the espressos to Jackie, if that's... Yes. Jack's Jackie. Your nails are pretty. Thank you, thank you. Jamie brought the polish. It's got like a pink and a purple in it. It's pretty cool. It's called Horned Frogs. It fits me perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and put this down because I really want the girl to stand out. It does look like more glue on the it screen does look than like what more you're glue doing. On the screen. Maybe maybe we enjoy an apology. Yeah, maybe so. Because that Cause does look like an exorbitant. That did amount look of like glue. way too much glue, but it doesn't for re in real life. Let me see right <coughs> here, I think. Oh, sweet pops. <coughs> and then I'm just going to press it down with my espresso. That way I'm not, not running my fingers all across everything. And then what comes next, ladies? You know because you watch me. I know, I know. I know, I know. What's next? What's next? I'm super excited. There's the link for the sweet pops. Hopefully it'll pop up. <laughs> and, um... There's Nobody's commenting. I wonder if they're they, if we're not seeing them. Well, my link just showed up, and I put it on there like a while. Oh, ago. see, there it is. Renska bling. Yep, she knew. Not little bling. You um, gotta have bigger bling. The link for the sweet pops is there, and you get about a hundred and fifty per roll, and they're only two ninety nine. So buy lots. Nope. 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 But see, you're picking up from the movie tonight. Nope. 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 Do you want to know what else I have in here? Look at these. How about the bling <laughs> ones? Say, I am a ninja. Oh. <laughs> I am a ninja. Ninja Sandy. That's right. Ninja Sandy. Um, Jackie, the that is a project we made during one of our retreats. Those are beautiful on that, but you don't like matte finish. This, yeah, we made this on our retreat, and it's supposed to hold your ink pads. We made it to, we made little drawers and we put our ink pads in here and pulled the drawer out. But I use it, um, my hubby makes me holders for my ink pads, so I use it to hold bling. It works perfectly. Keep your eyes peeled. If people it, like it a lot, it, maybe it'll be a dye one day. Oh, uh, which one were you saying you like? Um, I just like these? the pink. On that one. Yeah, I like it the pink like too. looks like the light color of pink that is on the top part of her dress. Yes, I held I, I um, held that one out. Those purples go really well too. Mm -hmm. We gotta look at all the bling because there's so much and it's one of them is gonna just stand out and be like perfect. Look at that blue is really good um, too. Jackie, where are you at? 
what part of the world are you located in? <laughs> yes. If you don't mind me asking. Jack's, Jackie Kelsch. Tell us, where are you from? Oh, my mama said definitely pink. Not just pink, but definitely. No red. Look at you this using all that right. glittery rainbow stuff. You're in Boise? Oh, Jackie! I know you, silly. Are you come are you gonna come to our retreat? Ooh, these are good blues too. Yeah, those are good blues. Oh, at Pinners too. Awesome. I met Jackie last year at Pinners and we actually met her. You've met her before at the um Hi Kim. At the uh you know, when we used to have the Idaho scrapbook show. Oh, I, I that really pink right there. Yeah, that pink is good too. I knew you were gonna pick these because you like these kind. I like the matte. You do. Although the droplets would look good too. We're just checking out some bling. Why not, right? I mean, I have almost all of. <laughs> um, Jackie, we're having a coloring retreat in Nampa in April. So if you go to our website, you can check it out. Put the link out there for her so she. I did. Oh. We're so glad you popped on. I kind of like the black, too. Uh, oh, Jackie's oh. super sweet, too. The greens are not too bad, either. These ones these ones are good. Yeah, you're going to get me on these, aren't you, Jamie? Yep. This one, kind of this whole set matches. Look. <laughs> that green's a little minty for it. But it is, yeah. but it's close. All right. Okay. All right. Even though I really like these blues, I'm going to go with the pinks. We actually have that, almost all of them. Look. I was going to see that green kind of works, too. In the middle, that yellowy green here. Yeah, yeah kind of does. Pink, pink, pink. <laughs> Orange and pink set. Yeah. It was good. I kind of think maybe we should go. I don't know. I think I like these better. What do you guys think? Dark pink, light pink, or both? Both. Because I was thinking the dark pink. So I it stands out a little more. You think the contrast will be off? Okay, let's open them up. Now, I am not a fan of... These are my least favorite dots, but only because they're so big and I... Um, <laughs> they're kind of soft. Kim knows me well. <laughs> yeah, she's been hanging in there like a trooper, though. <clears throat> See, there's Milligan giving Jack doggy bone. Yay! Jack's so happy, too. So, these ones, I like to put glue underneath these. They do I have do sticky, too. but they're a little bit bigger and heavier, so I like to... All right, so we're going to do the two pink colors, these two, and I... I think we're going to mix up the size of the dots. How many dots should we put on here, Jamie? I would put three groups of three. Really? Yep. All righty then. Here we go. So we'll start at the top. Are you in the groups of three? Are you going to mix? Should I mix them up or yeah. make them all the same? Nope. Mix them up. Mix up size and mix up colors. Ooh, something got on that one. <laughs> Thanks, Milligan. If I ever get to see Archie again, I feel like I'm not going home for a long time. We saw him when we went up there. Yeah, for, <clears throat> for 10 minutes. <laughs> right? For 10 minutes before. We were know. a day late getting home, so we I didn't get to stay home for very long. Yes, we 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 had a rough trip this last time. but California tried to keep us. They did. They tried real hard. I kind of feel like... Temporary texting. Right? I kind of feel like you should add one of those purple ones, too. Because that purple at the bottom of our dress. That's not the right purple, though. And these are the only ones okay. like this, so I think maybe not. Okay. Add the gray in the middle there, because it's the same color as her wing. Alright. Alright, we're doing the gray. Okay. Now, pretty. the Barely Art glue dries clear, so we're all good with these little... Use your espresso to push them down instead yeah. of hurting your fingers. All right. Now we need 
two more groups of three. <coughs> so I think that I want to put one over here. Yep. So the, this time I want to change all the colors. Right. So the smallest one is going to go right there. And the medium one. Oh, nope. Large one. Let's put it here. And then the medium one will be gray. Pretty. This is going to be so pretty. And then put the last group behind her. Take some to Archie, too. Yeah. Ooh, look. Oh, Mama liked the dark pink. I got the dark pink on there. Okay. So the last set, I think. Yes. By her wings. Look at you all making cards like me. Right? <laughs> okay, so gray is the biggest one this time. Yep. Oops, I just flung it across my desk. And I think it needs to be the one closest. And then the medium one will be this one. And I want that one to be up here. And then the little baby one will be this one. Ooh, this is such a colorful card, isn't it? I love it. It came out super pretty. I had a I had a hidden reason why I chose to make a card this size, and that is that we I was making the boards for display for the shows, and I realized we don't have enough of these. We don't have enough of these size cards on the displays. So I needed one that side, size. And it gives you more space to do more stuff. I think the only other person who has as many dots as you is your mom. <coughs> oh yeah, my mom likes lots of dots too. And look, you can still see the design really well all around mm -hmm. it. It's just... Ooh, it's so pretty. I the love texture it. from the spritzing really adds dimension to it. Mm hmm And look at those wings, you guys. Look at them sparkle. It came out really well. And see how you can see her hair because we colored underneath it. You can still see the hair underneath her wing. I like that. Yep. It makes me super happy. So what is tonight? Thursday? I have no idea. I think tonight is Thursday. You like it? Yay! Yep, it's Thursday. So today in the mail, I got a card from my sister, and I opened it up. <laughs> Where is it? Do I have it here? Is it laying here? It's probably under everything. Probably. Anyway, I was so excited. I got a card in the mail. I opened it up, and it was one of the cards I gave her for Christmas. She finally sent me one back. Sandy Usually, got a card in the mail that she made. I did. I got a card that I made, came back to me, and usually I give away all my cards so I don't have any to keep. And she sent me one back, so I was super excited to yeah. get that. Oh, here it is. There. <laughs> she sent me this card back. Look, it has dots on it. <laughs> it does have our dots on it right here. And this was our die that we had for a while. And then this is Crazy Creations Color on Glitter Paper, which was super fun. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> yep. So it was it was awesome to open it up and be like, oh, she's using the cards I gave her for Christmas. Anyway, it was super fun. So I hope you guys really like this. If you love hanging out with us and coloring with us, definitely consider coming to the retreat because we'd love to have you. Just stick my face in that little picture that was just put on there going like this. Come to the retreat. <laughs> we'd love to have you. Right. Um, and don't forget to um, check out that uh, craft roulette. Oh, it's super what? fun. And um, I would love to have people I know on there for comfort. <laughs> 
be super fun. Even if you don't want to do it, you can you can still watch and hang out with us. You don't have to commit to anything. You can just watch it, and if you want to contribute, which we would love to have you contribute, you just have to make one card, take a picture, upload it. Doesn't have to be any professional photography. You sh you can just stand there and hold it in your hand if you want. Yeah, you see a lot of people taking pictures like that. And then remember to watch the week after I'm there so you can see if your name gets pulled in the drawing. And Sweet Sentiment yeah. is the one of the sponsors. There's three sponsors. We are one of the sponsors for March. So if you join in any of them, you can potentially uh, win a gift certificate to Sweet Sentiment Stamps. So we'd love to have you guys. Here's our card for tonight. This is just how it opens. Stamped on the back. Always sign your work. And then you will always know because once you make hundreds and hundreds of cards, you can't remember if you made it or not. Or you and your bestie make cards so similar that sometimes you argue over who made that card. <sighs> when there's a stamp on the back of it, you get to know which one of you That's right. That's right, because sometimes we're not sure. We're we like, often. Mm, did you make that or did I make that? <laughs> we often. Especially when we're preparing the boards for the shows with our cards on it, we try to e make sure equally <clears throat> the design team and me and Jamie all get equal amounts, and then we can't remember who did what. So, <laughs> anyway, if you're interested in this stamp set, this is the one that I used. It's called Fairy Tale. We colored her last night. Tonight, we used... The stencil, which is called Lovely Mandala. Lovely Mandala. You guys know I like this one because I've used it a bunch of times already on lives. There are dies that match. I use the die to cut out the girl. And look, look, Cheryl, I cut out the white spots. Yay! I did. I love that Cheryl picked that out too. I know. It makes me so happy. Exactly. So it almost looks like she's in this because this would look like sky and the earth behind her. It's, it, does, it looks like she's in outer space. Yes, it does. So thank you so much for watching tonight and hanging out with us tonight. Um, you saw that. Yeah, <laughs> good. Um, I think tomorrow is your, tomorrow is Jamie's um, live. We'll see how Supposed Jamie feels. To be, right? <laughs> Supposed to be tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but we have some stuff going on on Saturday and potentially Sunday, so pay attention to the Facebook page and we'll let you know if the times change or if we need to cancel any of the lives, but we're going to try to stay on target. I just know that we have a bunch of plans, especially on Saturday, so... Stay um, stay tuned, uh, watch for the notifications, and hopefully we will see you tomorrow. And you have a good weekend too, Vrinska, and all the rest of you. Good night, and thank you for watching. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs>